Hello, I'm Annabelle Tiffin. Welcome to Northwest Today. The headlines this Thursday lunchtime. A student from Edge Hill University in Ormskirk remains in hospital this lunchtime after being injured in yesterday's terror attack in London. Three other students from the university also sustained injuries. They were on a field trip to the capital as a terrorist drove at people on Westminster Bridge. Four people, including the suspect, died. Well, Eunice Muller is live at Edge Hill University for us this lunchtime. Eunice. Much indeed. On to other news, and schools in Blackburn with Darwin and Rochdale are seeing increased levels of segregation. Our health correspondent Jill Dummigan reporting. Now, if you like messing about on the water, this next item might be for you. The Canal and River Trust is looking for volunteers to help run the waterways of the northwest. And it's not just about lock keeping, as our Cheshire reporter Mark Edwardson discovered to those terror attacks in Westminster. Do hope you can join us then. In the meantime, enjoy the sunshine if you can. Have a very lovely afternoon. Bye-bye. And we'll speak to one MP who saw the terrorist shot in front of her. Also tonight, deep... A massive thank you to the emergency services and to everyone who sent good wishes. Those were the words of student Travis Frayne from Darwin, who's still in hospital in London after being hit by the car in yesterday's terrorist attack on Westminster Bridge. And across the region, people paused in silence for those caught up in the horrific event. And tonight, a vigil has been organised in Manchester's Albert Square. Claire Fallon is there for us now. Very much indeed. Well, our MPs went back into the Commons today, determined not to let terrorism get in the way of democracy. They packed the green benches and one by one they paid tribute to those who lost their lives. Well, another of our MPs who was caught up in events of the day and indeed involved in the aftermath of the attack is Security Minister Ben Wallace, who represents Wyatt and Preston North. He joins us now from our studio at Westminster. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I know that you were, uh, you were there when events unfolded. Where exactly were you? Uh, I was just going... Out at gunpoint. Uh, well... Uh, You've been in the military yourself. This, this must have been an extremely... Uh, difficult and worrying time. Well, I think it's... Minister, you've been involved in the COBRA meetings. Um, PC Palmer was not armed and he was on th that gate in particular. Is that likely to be reviewed now? Well, we always... For your time this evening. Well, let's turn now to the rest of the day's news. And the prospects of a new stadium for Everton Football Club has moved closer this evening. The club has confirmed its... Re a former Anglican vicar from Liverpool who stole more than £100,000 from the church has been spared jail. Michael Fry spent the money on alcohol, books and travel. But a judge today said that uh, the good Fry does in society outweighs the harm he did by stealing and she gave him a suspended prison sentence. Our Merseyside reporter Andy Gill was in court. Item might be for you. The Canal and River Trust is looking for volunteers to help run the waterways of the Northwest. Mm, and it's not just about lock keeping, as our Cheshire reporter Mark Edwardson discovered. The gym membership, it can't be bad. It's You're good. outside, good. yeah, any good muscles for moving those locks. If you get the weather for it, good link. <laughs> did we get the weather for it today? We what a today. nice day, Beautiful. yes. We did think the weather would change and the clocks go oh, yes. forward. forward. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Don't do it the other way. No, definitely Are you not. Keeping me company in the I am, tonight? yes. Yep. Are you asking? We'll, we'll see you then. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank bye bye. You. Bye bye. bye, -bye.